Thomas the tank engine was grumbling to the other engines. I spend my time pulling coaches about ready for you to take out on journeys. The other engines laughed. Why can't I pull passenger trains too? You're too impatient, they said. You'd be sure to leave something behind. Rubbish, said Thomas. I'll show you. One night, he and Henry were alone. Henry was ill. The men worked hard, but he didn't get better. He felt just as bad next morning. Henry usually pulled the first train, and Thomas had to get his coaches ready. If Henry is ill, he thought, perhaps I shall pull his train. Thomas ran to find the coaches. Come along, come along, he fussed. There's plenty of time, there's plenty of time, they grumbled. Thomas took them to the platform and wanted to run round in front at once. But his driver wouldn't let him. Don't be impatient, Thomas. Thomas waited and waited. The people got in, the conductor and station master walked up and down, the porter banged the doors, and still Henry didn't come. Thomas got more and more excited. Sir Topham Hatt came to see what was the matter, and the conductor and the station master told him about Henry. Find another engine, he ordered. There's only Thomas, they said. You'll have to do it then, Thomas. Be quick now. So Thomas ran round to the front and back down on the coaches ready to start. Let's not be impatient, said his driver. We'll wait till everything is ready. But Thomas was too excited to listen. What happened then, no one knows. Perhaps they forgot to couple Thomas to the train. Or perhaps the driver pulled the lever by mistake. Anyhow, Thomas started without his coaches. As he passed the first signal tower, men waved and shouted, but he didn't stop. They're waving because I'm such a splendid engine, he thought importantly. Henry says it's hard to pull trains, but I think it's easy. Hurry, 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 he puffed, pretending to be like Gordon. People have never seen me pulling a train before. It's nice of them to wave, and he whistled. Peep, peep, thank you. Then he came to a signal at danger. Bother, he thought. I must stop, and I was going so nicely, too. What a nuisance signals are. He blew an angry peep, peep on his whistle. The signal man ran up. Hello, Thomas, he said. What are you doing here? I'm pulling a train, said Thomas. Can't you see? Where are your coaches, then? Thomas looked back. Why, bless me, he said, if we haven't left them behind. Yes, said the signalman. You'd better go back quickly and fetch them. Poor Thomas was so sad, he nearly cried. Cheer up, said his driver. Let's go back quickly and try again. talking at once. They were telling Sir Topham Hatt what a bad railway it was. But when Thomas came back, they saw how sad he was and couldn't be cross. He was coupled to the train and this time he really pulled it. Afterwards, the other engines laughed at Thomas and said, look, there's Thomas who wanted to pull a train but forgot about the coaches. But Thomas had already learned not to make the same mistake again.